I'm Athena and this is my partner, Harvey. We've been sharing many adventures together over the years, from camping and climbing to hiking and van life. Last year, we embarked on our biggest adventure yet. This is our little girl, Aoife. And not forgetting Oslo, of course. Join us as we navigate family life with our love of the outdoors and adventure. Good morning. Say morning, Aoife. Hi. <laughs> so uh, we are uh, just out for a morning walk. It's Monday. It's fantastic weather. It's looking like it's going to be fantastic weather all week. So we're just trying to make some plans, try and get out. We're going to sort of take you along for the journey. Well, maybe I'll, I'll let you wait and see what we got planned. Fingers crossed, we can get out and we can go enjoy what feels like the start of spring. It's, it's coming, coming with a wallop. So uh, five days or so of pure sunshine. I hope you guys have all got out and had a nice time. Let's see where we get to. Good morning. Uh, just up in the saddle of Bowfell, just below Bowfell. It's Bowfell is just there behind me. Um, bivied out up here last night. It was just an opportunity not to miss really to get out, as the weather's so good. I think these uh, yesterday and today are kind of like the warmest days of the week. Uh, so a friend of mine, Mark, uh, got in touch. He was just like, let's go out and do some photography. So why not? Just had to really make the most of it. So, so good to be out. Sun shining, it's hardly any wind. It was a bit windy last night, but oh, just so great to be out. So kind of did a bit of nighttime photography um, and then kind of got up for the sunrise and uh, and just been for a scramble actually so i've got up had a cup of tea and then went for a scramble there's some flutes uh, which you can see just on bowfell and um it's uh oh, it's just so nice to get out and move the body run around on the rocks uh it is very enjoyable so i think i'm going to try and meet Athena later, she's going to drive out with Aoife. I don't think Aoife slept very well last night. I think they're going to come out and meet me at the old Dungeon Gill. And then I think we're going to go for a walk. We'll probably just stay low and go for a nice meander up the valley maybe. And uh, But for now, just going to cook some breakfast and uh, just get our little area sorted. Just got everything out drying. But this is where we slept last night. 
so good to be out under the stars. So uh, finally made it to meet Athena. Hello. <laughs> um, Lufa. Little Lufa. <laughs> so just uh, we got down and then uh, it was quite busy down at the old Dungeon Gill, so we decided to come up to Blee Tan and just go for a kind of a nice walk. We kind of it's quite sunny, so we wanted to keep it quite shaded with yeah. Lufa. Um, you wouldn't think in March we'd be looking for shade, but yeah, I know it's amazing. Yeah. It was so warm down in the valley, wasn't it? Yeah. It's beautiful out here though. Oh, it's amazing. I'm excited. Yeah, so a nice little walk. That's Blee Tarn. Yeah. <laughs> kind of got a bit stuck here. Aoife's fallen asleep <laughs> on, a, on Athena. <laughs> she's got a bit of a cold and I think she's quite tired and just like wanting to feed all the time and sleep so Yeah, it's she good, fed really. loads last night, didn't she? Yeah, she's feeding so much last night. I did not sleep very well. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of, I don't know, I, I was out, I didn't sleep a huge amount but actually I feel okay for it. Yeah, and, I mean, I, um, feel, I feel alright as well, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. Maybe we've become we're just becoming like really accustomed to yeah. sleep. <laughs> this is parenthood. <laughs> like I haven't slept but I'm okay, I suppose. Uh but I think um I think it's still like good to come outside even though we're tired. Yeah. And just <laughs> like uh I kind of found myself sort of thinking about going up onto both fell and and actually I could have quite easily found many reasons not to go up there. Um uh, because it was a little bit out of sort of our rhythm and we're just sort of getting back into the swing of the store and but um, it just needed to happen and I think it was quite 
you know it, it takes takes a bit to to sort of be able to like push out of your sort of natural rhythm and you know for some that's easier than others i mean at the moment we're kind of freelance so it's a bit easier uh i could work in the morning and then and then go but i think it's it's good to to get out of your comfort zone mm. get out of your natural rhythm kind of test yourself a little bit mm. and and it, and it sounds a bit ridiculous but for me it was quite a big deal to drive by myself into the lakes with Aoife because she's not always great in the car so mm. I've been really nervous to drive by myself with her for like you know a distance of I mean it was only it was just over an hour so it wasn't actually that long but I was really nervous for it and it was actually mm. fine she slept the whole time but um yeah I'd kind of been like making excuses not to come and <laughs> you know because it's a bit scary when you're like doing, on your own. doing something unknown and you've got a screaming baby in the back of the car <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well well done i mean we've got a really lovely spot and yeah, if we end up it. just sitting here for a while yeah. then we just sit here <laughs> yeah. i only brought uh my vest i should have brought a jacket so i've now wrapped up in a pack mat <laughs> just to uh to keep me warm which is ideal Just popped up to the top of Side Pike above Blee Tarn. It's a beautiful day here. We've yeah, got it's um, amazing. yeah, amazing view over the Langdales. Yeah, oh, great day to be out walking, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's been fantastic. And uh, I think we'll wrap it up there. Our SD card's about to run out. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we will catch you soon. <laughs>